Uh, this one's very easy. This one, actually, you don't even have to use U sub. Um, you could just uh, do it by looking at it and say, e to the cosine t is a very complicated part. I'm just going to guess. But you can use U sub because we've been practicing that. Um, might be a little easier. Anyways, go ahead and work on that. Okay, I'm going to give you just the answer. Negative e to the cosine, whoops, cosine t plus c. Good? Um, oh, derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay, next one. This one has no numbers, but you can do this one. Sorry about that. Just one dx is enough. The answer is 1 over a natural log a plus, uh, sorry, ax plus b. You didn't even know there was a natural log coming, huh? Okay, let's look at this question. This is a very hard question. Okay, so go ahead and copy this down. Yeah, this is the last section uh, before the test. So this is the last section of the chapter. So next week, we're going to do finish this section, two days of review, and then we're going to take the test. All right, so everyone has this copy down. Now, what's the obvious thing to do to, what is the obvious you? Yes. Now, you would probably think it's x to the fifth, but kind of think about it. If I make x to the fifth u, if I take a derivative, it's going to be 5x squared. It's not going to help me get to square root 1 plus x squared. So u is going to be probably something that's more complicated. Take it out of the way, please. OK, uh, that's usually inside some kind of square root or some kind of power. All right, let's do du. Du is 2x dx. You need to copy notes. All right, du is 2x dx. Well, does that look anything like x to the fifth? Yeah. No, not at all. So what do we do? Well, this is a tricky question. Uh, we are going to change this a little bit. Okay, this x to the fifth, we're going to change it to x times x to the fourth. So this is why I mean by this is a really tricky question. Okay, now that we can see that there is an x and an x to the fourth, I can see that this x dx can come from this 2x dx. But I'm still stuck with this x to the fourth. How do I even find this x to the fourth? Keep stringing out the x to the fourth. <laughs> well, I can't keep having dx's, right? So it's actually going to come from this thing, and it's uh, tricky. So this is u minus 1 is x to the second. So then to get to x to the fourth, I square that. Okay, now we try substituting. Okay, so I know that 1 plus x squared is u. So that's u. Uh, x dx has to come from that 2x dx. So I'm going to divide this by 1, uh, divide this by 2. So then I get x dx here. I'm going to put this in order, so 1 half, and then du here. The last part is the x to the fourth. x to the fourth is u minus 1 squared. OK, now integrate. How do I integrate that? That doesn't look any better, right? Take another u. <laughs> Take another u? Oh, that might be a good idea. Uh, no, actually. I mean, it probably could. We probably could. Uh, but there's another way. So basically, at this time, multiply everything out. And 
and then I'm gonna distribute everything except I'm gonna take the one half out because that's a constant if I distribute in everything becomes a bunch of fractions not as nice so I'm gonna take that one half out and then multiply everything together think of u um, square root u as u to the one half okay so this is u to the five seconds minus two times u to the three halves plus u to the one half du okay now you can integrate it, that right so go ahead and do that so that should be one half uh, 2 sevenths u to the 7 over 2 minus 4 over 5 u to the 5 over 2 plus 2 thirds u to the 3 over 2 plus c. Okay, so simplify that. You get 1 seventh u to the 7 over 2 minus 2 over 5 u to the 5 over 2 plus 1 third u to the 3 over 2 plus c. What's the last thing we need to do? Plug in u. Plug in u. u is 1 plus x squared. So 1 over 7, 1 plus x squared, 7 to the 7 over 2 minus 2 over 5 times 1 plus x squared to the 5 over 2 plus 1 third times 1 plus x squared to the 3 over 2 plus c. So this is the answer. It's a very complicated question. Okay, so this question, again, let's review. It requires a, uh, a lot of uh, steps, actually, um, kind, of, um, kind of thinking about it. Um, so when you see something like this, where you, if you kind of think about it logically, it's not possible to get from x to the fifth to an x squared inside a square root so this is where you kind of have to think how do i break this down okay so take the most complicated part that's inside a power so x uh, one plus x squared and then you may want to split up that x to the fifth into different kind of things um, it may not be x times x to the fourth it may be something else okay so then you just the next thing you are allowed to change u but um, please don't do something like this. Don't try to square this thing, okay? That would be, that would make no sense. DU is an operator. You can't square an operator, so don't do that. But you can change U. All right, now you get to this part and it looks like you still cannot solve, but uh, when you have some kind of square or a third, you know, brute force is still a, uh, a way to solve this problem. You can just like expand everything and then take integral of every part. Okay? All right, let's try another one. Okay, this is the same logic as before, but a little bit easier. Okay, let's all decide which part is u. So which one is u? 2 plus x. <laughs> 2 plus x. Okay, so let's go from there. If you are stuck, uh, work, work with your partner. Okay, so make du dx. So you can see that there is going to be this x squared here that we need to substitute over. So that's going to be u minus 2 is x. So then u minus 2 squared is x squared. Okay, substitute that back. This is u minus 2 squared, square root of u du. All right, so going through the whole long um, process of integration, this is the final answer. 2 over 7 times 2 plus x to the 7 over 2 minus 8 over 5 times 2 plus x to the 5 over 2 plus 8 over 3 times 2 plus x to the 3 over 2 plus c. Good. That was long. <laughs> okay, let's try another one. This one's much easier. 
square, uh, sorry, in <laughs> integrate tangent x. Now tangent x is, there is no like direct um, integration. So what you can do is change this to sine over cosine. Or, you know, you could always just memorize what integral of tangent x is, but you can always start from sine over cosine. Okay, so which part would you make u? Cosine. Cosine. Uh, no, just cosine. Just cosine. All right, so go ahead and try to integrate this one. All right, this is an easy one. The answer is negative natural log cosine x plus c.